सपोज एन एयरप्लेन इज ट्रेवलिंग एट सम स्पीड एयर कमिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ द प्लेन विल फ्लो ओवर द सर्फेस एंड द प्लेन विल जस्ट स्लाइस थ्रू द एयर एंड इट विल मूव फॉरवर्ड दिस विल हैपन व्हेन द स्पीड ऑफ प्लेन इज लेस देन द स्पीड ऑफ साउंड व्हिच इज अराउंड 340 मीटर्स पर सेकंड मॉलिक्यूल्स इन द फ्रंट ऑफ प्लेन विल गेट द इंफॉर्मेशन इन फॉर्म ऑफ प्रेशर वेव्स सो द मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ एयर इन फ्रंट विल ओरिएंट देमसेल्फ इन सच अ वे दैट दे फ्लो अराउंड द बॉडी these pressure waves will travel at the speed of sound pressure waves are similar to the ripples created in the water if you see the ripples you can guess the location of impact but suppose the plane is traveling at speed greater than the speed of sound so signal will not reach the air in front of the plane and the molecules will not get time to orient themselves in proper manner so the air will directly hit the plane's front and now a shock wave is created but what exactly is a shock wave when air molecules approach the plane at speed greater than the speed of sound they hit the surface and then bounce back after bouncing back they collide with the other air molecules coming and they start to compress at the point of collision so a thin compression region is formed in front of the airplane and this region is called shock wave and if shock wave is perpendicular to the incoming air it is called a normal shock wave the normal shock wave is the strongest among all the shock waves as the molecules passes this shock wave their speed is reduced dramatically below the speed of sound so now the flow will get the signal that some obstruction is present in the front and molecules quickly orient themselves to flow around the body sometimes shock waves is advantageous to us but sometimes it's very bad there are many types of shock waves such as standing normal shock wave moving normal shock wave oblique shock mac waves etc we shall discuss this in my upcoming videos Till then thank you for watching and keep learning